Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm a member of several plasma cutting groups and metalworking groups, um, and people keep going on and on about this product, um, saying that it is fantastic. And this is a Harbor Freight um, surface conditioning tool. And basically what it is, is, is just kind of a big uh, rotary, uh, I don't want to call it a drum, it's just a rotary sander. Uh, pretty cheap. I, I'm actually a member at uh, Harbor Freight, so I got this at a discount. Uh, I walked out the door with this today for basically about a hundred bucks. Um, I've been using a regular sander up to this point, and uh, you know my my hard my hard uh, uh, putty knife to scrape off the the slag from the back or, or the dross. Let's open this thing and see if it really is all it's cut out to be. Okay, so in the box, um, it's gonna come with three different wheels. Uh, I will mention this thing is bigger uh, than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I, guess, uh, I guess seeing it in pictures on Facebook and stuff um, gave me a different idea. Uh, this, is, this is pretty big and it's, it's a little heavy uh, actually as far as power tools are concerned. <clears throat> Comes with three of these sanding drums here, these sanding uh, heads. This one's a 40 grit. Uh, we've got a 240 grit, and we've got a 120 grit. I'm going to start with this 40. Um, <clears throat> now, in the box, we also get a handle, uh, two keyways uh, that are going to slide. Uh, looks like they just slide here into uh, what would be the the shaft, uh, and then and then those would slide into uh, these keyways inside of your drums. They also sent two new brushes, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I hadn't even thought of that when I bought this machine that, that this was going to be a brushed motor and that eventually those will go out. So let's just put everything together. That was really on there. And by the way, this, um, this bolt that goes into the shaft here is reverse threaded. So uh, your righty tighty lefty loosey not gonna work here. It's the other way around. Uh, what would be tightening it on any other bolt uh, usually uh, is uh, loosening it on this one because this drum uh, is gonna spin this way and that's why uh, they've used this reversed reverse bolt here, but it was on there. It was on there so much I really had to, I, I thought I was gonna break it. Um, but let's go ahead and put on the wheel. It does not look like there is a, <clears throat> uh, necessarily a directional component to this. The layers of the, of the drum uh, don't seem to indicate that either. So let's just go ahead and put in these, these keys here and we'll slide on our drum. Again, I'm using my, I'm gonna use this 30, or I'm sorry, 40 grit conditioning pad here. And since this thing is, is tightened in the direction that it's spinning, um, I don't think you really need to crank down on that. We'll see. You'll see me um, in a lot of videos here in the shop where I don't wear safety glasses, and, and that's just a bad idea. Um, and, and, I'm st and, and I, I gotta apologize for that. Uh, I just never think of it. But when I'm working with metal, and especially something that's spinning, <clears throat> and I'm working with metal, uh, I have learned my lesson the hard way. It was a Friday night, uh, I was working on a car, and no, I was working on some shelves, and, uh, and just for a moment, <clears throat> I, I had my safety goggles on, but just for a moment, I, I pulled them down to see a little better what I was grinding, and I shot a piece of metal straight into my eye, right in the center of the, the uh, iris. <clears throat> and being Friday night, um, that caused a lot of problems. I spent uh, a couple hours in the ER that evening uh, them trying to remove it and they couldn't remove it. Uh, and then I had to go to an ophthalmologist uh, that they called and who came in on a Saturday for me um, 
and uh, and he was able to pluck it out finally. But but that entire night I couldn't sleep. The the piece of metal was cutting the inside of my eyelid uh, over and over every time I would blink. It was just awful. So anytime you're working with 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 grinding metal, sanding metal, anything like that, wear wear your safety glasses. Um, metal's not fun to get in the eyes. So let's try this thing out. Now I make these uh, bathroom signs. They're, they're cowboy and cowgirl uh, bathroom signs that they, they put on restaurant doors and, and these are real popular around here. Uh, steakhouses, barbecue places, stuff like that. Wedding venues use these, they put them on tables. Um, but uh, I've always been uh, just sanding them with my Walt uh, RO sander and um, and that takes a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clamp one of these down to the bench and use this, use this thing and see, see how it goes. Okay, it's got a variable speed um, here on the handle, which is cool. Let's see what one does. All right, well, so to the, to the guys on uh, Facebook and YouTube, um, man, you aren't kidding. Look at that. What'd that take me? A minute and a half? Maybe? Two minutes? That is fantastic. Can you see that? I mean, I can see it. Just a little, little tiny screen there. I mean, that is... That's, that's infuriating uh, to think that I've been sanding this with a random orbital sander this whole time. Uh, and for a hundred bucks, I, I could have. There you have it. Fantastic, works great. Takes a minute to, to get up to speed. Um, as you probably noticed. That's not me. Uh, that's not that's not me slowly pulling the trigger. I just pulled the trigger uh, all the way It just takes a while to uh, to rev up. That was the 40 grit um, I'm I'm absolutely amazed by how Well this tool works. So if you're on the fence if you've been eyeing this if you've seen the post and you've wondered to yourself You know does it work? It works. It works fabulously if you like the video, please hit subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you next time.